Hi everyone, Liberty from Spirit Move Ministries. Um, I just wanted to hop on and release this word of basically prophecy that the Lord has given me, not necessarily a prophetic word, but prophecy of what he is doing right now in the body of Christ and in the church and in the world um, through what's happening right now, through the shaking. Um, just a reminder, I have a YouTube channel spirit move ministries please go and subscribe um i would love for you to subscribe because then you'll get my videos as they come out but if you follow spirit move ministries page on facebook then you will get the videos anyway but um uh, this has been on my heart since right before easter the lord spoke it to me um, in my prayer time, there's a place I go here. You'll, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I go and pray at Prayer Mountain. And as I was there, um, I was praying, and I was just uh, declaring uh, the shaking and, and the foundation and, and of our ministry and everything God was doing because we're a church plant. We meet in a school. We cannot use the facility, and, and nobody can really have church right now. We're doing all online services. So because of that... Um, you know, we're in prayer a lot and uh, about leading this ministry and where we're going and, and how can we reach people and how can we make the most impact and all that. So as I'm at Prayer Mountain, I just typed it up. I usually don't do that. I usually fly by the seat of my pants when I have a word, a prophetic word, because I already know what the Spirit's telling me to say. But this is more of a prophecy, so I want to uh, kind of say it word for word on, on how he gave it to me. And so this is what I have written here. Um, I, I, I called it a faulty foundation because this is what it ended up being. Um, the Lord spoke to me about the foundation of the church. As I was declaring that he was preparing the foundation of our ministry through all that he's doing right now, and I was praying for our church, for our church members. And so I was just declaring, God, you're creating a new foundation. Um, if you go back on my YouTube channel or on this page, look for the word that's called such a time as this. Uh, it is about what God's doing right now. He gave, me, he gave me a prophecy about what he's doing right now through the pandemic. Um, there's a massive shaking going on, and he's preparing, and he's doing a lot. It's a really long word, about 45 minutes. You'd have to trek through it. Um, but I, I suggest you go back and watch it so you know what I'm saying. Um, but as I was there and I was declaring this and I was declaring a, a new foundation, Lord, lead us, show us what we're doing now, where you're going with this, what the church is doing and what our role is. Um, and I knew that the shaking, we're, we're in the midst of shaking and I already knew what he had already told me prophetically previously. Um, he spoke to me, uh, and he said that, uh, he is right now preparing the foundation not just our foundation. He said the shaking that's happening, he is preparing the foundation for the third great awakening. And he told me that um, as I was declaring for our foundation to be ready, to be purified, for him to do what he needs to do, because we know he does all things for his glory and, and, and our good. So there was something that he's doing in our ministry, in our church, and we want to go with that. We don't want to interfere with what God wants to do. And I already knew what he had said what he was doing. And I don't do well with just reading off a paper because I fly by, the, like I said, by the seat of my pants. So just track with me. Um, and as I was doing that, he spoke to me and he said, he is right now preparing the foundation that the third great awakening is going to be built upon. He's currently building his foundation, but before you pour the foundation, you have to remove some things. You have to excavate you have to prepare for the pouring of the foundation. And so I went ahead, I'm at Prayer Mountain, I typed this all up because I realized he's given me a prophecy, not just a prophetic word. And so then he continued to speak to me and he said um, that he is preparing the foundation for the end time revival and that the latter day rain, um, for the latter day rain to come, he has to do a preparation because the church ain't ready. The church hasn't been ready. There's some foundational issues there's some foundational issues. Um, he said uh, he will not build on a faulty foundation. And I said, God, what are you trying to say? And he said um, that the current world 
is not prepared to hear his message. They have been deaf to it. But he said he's rebuilding the foundation of the church also. Not that the entire church has been faulty, but he said that, that they have come to rely on the world, rely on the world's ways, and rely on man, and to rely on money. And he, it has crept into the church. The ways of the world, the ways of man, have crept into the church and the foundation that has been being built in the body of Christ, he said, is not a proper foundation. It is faulty. And not every area is faulty, but there's quite a bit that needs to be dealt with, that needs to be dealt with. And um, I'll finish, I'll, I'll kind of read through the word, and then I'll give you a sense about what I felt like, you know, he was telling me in the spirit as I go. I'm just giving you word for word. He said, my church is not um, a proper foundation to be built upon for the third great awakening. This is why the shaking is happening. He's doing what he needs to do to properly build a foundation that a harvest of souls can be brought in on. They have to be brought in on something. I could preach this, you guys. I'm going to try not to. Um, it cannot, the, the harvest of souls can be brought in on. And in general, the church has had a faulty foundation that he has to do a master reset, a redo on the church. The redo is a spanking. I could go into a lot of stuff about that. He said that it's a spanking. Their ways and their heart has not been his heart. They have been reliant on other things. He said the current church is in, a, in this state has um, uh, and basically relied on other things. In this state you've been in, he cannot build upon the way it's been. And he said that the current church in this state it has been would not be prepared nor ready nor capable of bringing in the end time harvest in the state that they have been. He said, continuing on, it's about done, you guys. He said the church need to, needs to be pure for his foundation to be prepared and laid on. It can't be mixed with anything. It has to be fully excavated cleaned out and ready to do the job I'm calling it to do because I will not have a foundation that is faulty for the end time harvest. The current church would not be prepared to carry the glory to the full capacity that it would need to be to bring in the end time harvest. Um, and then, you know, uh, I have some other things that he's also shown me. But basically, as he was telling it to me, I just felt in my spirit that he's saying, this is what, because I, I was basically just declaring our foundation. And he said, the church as a whole, the body of Christ, the foundation is not, it's not good to go. And this shaking, everything he's allowing to happen through this pandemic is his way of, of preparing the foundation and removing things and cleansing and purifying. And I could just feel just powerfully, um, I mean, in the spirit as he was telling me this stuff and and it, it was on my heart, and I just chewed on it all throughout the day, and I just thought about it. And, and I was like, wow, Lord, you know. And he said, um, the church, has, it's not been okay the way that the church has been. The foundation that they have created, they have went to the ways of man, the ways of the secular world. I don't even want to always use that world, but the world, ungodly ways, um, to get their agenda going. And he said that it's been very common for the church world to say, oh, these big time people in the world that are successful are doing this, 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 and this. So we should do it. It will work for us. He said people have cared more about um, having the best logo, having the best branding. How can they get people's attention? And he said, when my glory comes, Nobody's going to care about no logo. Nobody's going to care about stuff looking perfect and everything being, a, whatever, a way to be catch an eye to the world. He said, that's not how he's going to get through to people. And so, and I already know these are other words he's given me of what he's trying to do. And so the, 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 what I felt around everything that he was saying to me was he has got to prepare the church. Because when the harvest comes in, we have to be able 
to be pure in heart and holy and righteous, to carry the load of the discipling and the miracles, the signs and the wonders and everything that's going to come with it. We have to be prepared to carry that load. And as you know, if you look in the Old Testament, after they built the temple and they were all in there worshiping and the glory came in, they were, they were all thrown on their faces. They, they couldn't even stand up in, in the weight of it. And that's why, you know, sometimes when, when people get prayed for, they fall out in the spirit and all that because they cannot, uh, they cannot stay on their feet under the glory. And so I just wanted to put this word out there because I believe it's a prophecy for what God's doing in the church right now. He is rebuilding the foundation that has been faulty. And he said, this ex- the existing church that has been, the, the mindsets, the way the, the not following of the Spirit, the not allowing the Holy Spirit to move, all these mindsets have to be changed for the third great awakening. He has got to get a new foundation, and he's preparing it right now, and that's what he's doing. Um, I also have some other prophecies that he's given me, pretty much part two to the such a time as this. Um, some of the information, I have times and season and dates of of what I believe things are going to happen. Um, I prefer not to just tell those out publicly. I feel like it's something that the president needs to know. Um, he needs to understand what God's doing right now. And it's also very important. And if you're watching this, I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash. Go ahead, make all your ugly comments. It's okay. But God told me I'm, I'm called to speak the truth and I'm going to put it out there. But he said, this is what he's doing right now. And he said, it's very important that Trump and the leadership in this country that are Christians and that have some kind of walk with him, they need to not interfere with what he's doing by trying to make things happen and get back to normal and do this and do that and all this. He said, it's going to interfere with what I want to do. And um, so there's other things, which I'm not going to say here, would be considered prophecy that he gave me about times, dates, what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, what he's currently doing, uh, what Trump needs to be thinking about, what his timeline needs to be, what needs to be in the back of his head. Um, The Lord has shown me all this, but I will not say it publicly. Um, I have tried several ways to get through to him, to get a word to him, but I am not getting any responses. And so, and, and I don't necessarily yet feel like I'm supposed to just release it publicly. Um, but I'm letting you know that, that we cannot interfere with what God's doing. And if you go back and you see one of my other words for the body of Christ, which was the denial, the church is in denial, that the Lord is saying that there's a whole lot of Christians in denial to what he's trying to do right now. Everyone just wants to get back to normal. God's not, that's not what he wants. He's not, that's not what he's doing. And if we insist on going back to normal, we are interfering with what he's doing right now to prepare for the third great awakening. And as Christians, we need to not interfere. If we're spirit led, we need to really be listening to the spirit because we do not want to interfere with what he's doing. And um, having said that, um, it's meant to be that Trump's in office. He's going to be the man to get us out of this mess. I mean, there's a whole lot I would like to say to him that I know the Lord has told me uh, prophetically about him and about the future of the country and the timeline and that kind of thing. Um, but definitely it is God's will that Trump is in office. And there are, there are things that he is able to do, his mind, his thoughts, his giftings, his, his abilities. Um, God's going to use him. Um, and he's very, very important during this time. But what's most important is that we recognize what God's doing. He's rebuilding the foundation of the church and preparing it to receive the end time harvest because he will not build his church on a faulty foundation. We have already created a partial faulty foundation and he needs to fix it. He needs to fix what we've done as Christians and the church so that now he can then start afresh with a foundation that will work. And so, um, uh, I love you guys. Uh, I just wanted to throw this word out there. I have, I have been unsure about whether I should release it, but the Lord keeps confirming to me, you need to speak the truth. I've given you times and seasons. I've told you things and you need to release them 
um, I've given you that prophetically. That's part of your gifting and you need to be doing it. And so um, you guys are awesome. I hope you track through through the whole video. Um, just know, go back and watch such a time as this on my YouTube channel, Spirit Move Ministry. And you'll see what the Lord told me about what's happening right now. We cannot interfere, church, with what God's doing. We need to adapt to what the Spirit is taking us through right now. We need to not try to go back to normal because there is no such thing. And I said that in my previous word about that the, the Lord told me there's people in the body of Christ that are in denial right now. They just want to go back to the way that they were. They just, you know, they just want their churches open. They just want to, uh, they want to pretend this pandemic isn't, isn't happening. Um, uh, they don't, they don't want to see what God's doing. And so I'm not going to turn this into a whole nother word about that word. You can go back and watch it. It's on my Spirit Move Ministries YouTube and Facebook page. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. Also, Covenant Prayer Movement. That is the prayer ministry that we birthed um, out of our church. It was on my heart to birth it and become it would become a movement. Please find that page on Facebook. It's the only one, guaranteed. Um, like that page so you can get involved in our prayer that we're doing. And we do intercession and prayer three times a week, online gatherings. And um, we would love to have you join us. We have a tremendous amount of online people that are joining in on our prayers, hundreds. And it's it's just been amazing to see God working and moving. We've had, through our church's online services, we've had healings. We've had people delivered. I mean, it's God will not be limited, but we have to trust him during this shaking, and we need to not interfere with his work. You guys are awesome. Uh, uh, I'll be praying for you all. I love you. Have a blessed day. Talk to you later. Bye.